Let me put the cover back on this amplificator, Dale. I'll be right back. Okay, and G5R. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar. Uh, that is correct. Uh, I am a QRP station running one watt. One watt. Over. Wow. One watt. Well, Big Down for three. Oscar Sierra. Oscar. Uh, that is correct. That is correct. Victor Alpha 3, Oscar Sierra Oscar. I'm a QRP uh, portable station running one watt. Uh, what is my signal report? Over. Hey, roger, roger on the one watt. Well, you're, you're about a five six here. And the audio I can understand very well. So uh, that's great. This is the first day I've tried to turn my uh, five watt station down to one watt. Uh, what is your location? Over. Oh, that is awesome. Uh, the person who relayed for me, uh, how do, what's my signal signal report there and where wh where is your location? Over. I just dropped down on me now, Jeff. I'm on the phone, Dale. I'll be back. Hi. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt your uh, QSL, but uh, I just uh, if I heard that you have a very strong signal and thought you'd be able to hear me, so I really appreciate you coming back. Carson, you dropped down on me now, but you were about a five six with real good audio. Go ahead. Well, um, uh, one watt. At least I could contact you. Um, I really appreciate you uh, coming back to me. I'll let you go. Uh, seventy three. All right, seven three is good luck. Thank you. Oh, Sierra Oscar, Sierra. Okay, I think I got it there. Uh, a lot of noise under my frequency here. I apologize on my reception. Thanks for coming back to my call. The name here is Daryl, D-A-R-R-Y-L, located in northern Florida, about 50 miles southwest of Jacksonville, Florida, a little bit north of the city of Gainesville, sir. How copy? Uh, hey, Daryl, uh, you are uh, coming in 5 and 8, 5 and 8. My name is Carson, Charlie, Alpha, Romeo, Sierra, Oscar, November. Can you confirm that you've copied my call sign? Victor Alpha 3, Oscar, Sierra, Oscar. Okay, Carson, uh, where, where are you located up there in Canada, sir? What, what province is that? I'm in Ontario, Canada. Ontario, Canada. QSB on Ontario, Canada. Yeah, I, I don't know how the band's acting. Uh, seem to be a fair amount of QSB there, but uh, when you when your signal comes up, I give you a good five nine. That all of a sudden the QSB just kind of drops down, and uh, and I get the noise and popping noises coming down on this end there. I'm not running a whole lot here, sir. I got an old Tentec Army C radio uh, driving into the uh, Tentec Centaur amplifier, which is uh, three eight eleven right now. It looks like I'm peaking maybe four or five hundred watts on a good peak. I got the old uh, Swan antenna tuner, an old ST2, and I run ballast speed line out to a 20 meter wire loop antenna there, sir. Go ahead. Hey, that sounds like a good rig. Uh, I'm just running uh, 5 watts, 5 watts into a uh, 17 foot vertical uh, QSL. Uh, what kind of transceiver is that with a 5 watts, sir? It's a Yesu FT817. Hi, QSL on 817. Really good audio, real good audio. Is that your portable antenna or is that what you just uh, got set up to operate on for the station? Uh, that's a portable antenna. I'm out in the middle of the woods and I have a temporary station set up and uh, yeah, it's uh, all good. I'm getting lots of contacts today. Excellent, excellent. With a 17 meter vertical, uh, I mean the 17 foot vertical, uh, do you have any ground radios on it or how are you working that vertical? Yeah, I have uh, four ground radials that are elevated. Four elevated ground radials. How, how elevated are they? Uh, they range from about a foot uh, to two feet off the ground. I'm on the edge of a cliff, and so I'm running them uh, attached to trees uh, off the cliff. I heard out on the cliff. You know, uh, Carson, I have not seen a cliff uh, unless I go to what they call a rock quarry. 
uh, here in Florida someplace. Well, like a real natural cliff. I think it was, I was in the Army in Germany 30 years ago. And since I've seen a real, you know, cliff that would be life-threatening if you fell over there. But, uh, you know, down here in Florida, real flat. Uh, the weather is still very hot down here. Plenty of uh, insects flying around. Very humid. So uh, they said, uh, the, you know, this is the second or maybe third day of fall. But you can't tell it down here, Carson. Come in. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice. Uh, Daryl, do you mind if I uh, reduce my power and see if you can still copy me? Uh, well, uh, go ahead and translate it. i see if I can still hear you. I mean, I hear you at 5 watts. Like I said, when your signal comes up, you sound great. Okay, Daryl, I've now changed to 1 watt. I'm at, I'm at 1 watt. Do you copy me? Hey, well, 1 watt is doing it. How, how do you know it's 1 watt? I mean, does the radio have just a power switch level or you just go to the menu and tap it down to 1 watt? Uh, that's correct. In the menu, uh, I've dropped it to one watt. I am now going to drop it to 500 milliamps, five or uh, half a watt, half a watt. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Okay, Daryl, I'm now on half a watt, half a watt. Do you? Uh, can you copy me? Okay, I can barely tell you in there. I mean, uh, it's like a very extreme marginal copy at well, half a watt there. At half a watt, you're gonna have to put up some more antenna there, Carson. Okay, Daryl, I'm back to five watts, and I, I appreciate you putting up with my QRP station. Uh, really appreciate the contact today. I, I've really uh, enjoyed it. Uh, 73. All right there, Carson. I do uh, QRP also down here in Florida, but not here on 20. I have uh, two of the, um, well, I actually got three of them, one don't work, uh, MFJ radios. I've been using my 40-meter MFJ radio, which is, you know, high power compared to what you got because it does 10 watts out. And I got a homebrew amplifier that I put that 10 watts into, and I get out about, let's say, maybe 100 watts or a bit less. And, you know, I, I got, you know, a uh, 100 watt output. But then I take the 100 watts and I put it into another amplifier, and uh, it kind of drives it a bit harder or I get more output than what I, I would want to have because that amplifier, you know, it shows 1,000 watts out, and I would prefer to only do about 700 watts out of it. But I tell you, with the audio uh, that the MFJ radio's got, like that, uh, uh, continual permanent uh, uh, compressed uh, audio that it has and you run that much power with that type of uh, system it really punches some audio out on the band it's a bit wide I could say but I have a lot of fun uh, talking on 40 meters with that QRP rig and I, I make the contact and I back it down back it down and I finally tell them I'm running 10 watts now and uh, that's a lot of fun for me to do it that way but I just enjoy the hobby but hey Carson I enjoy making the contact with you with you being in a portable situation up there in Canada. 73 is our friend to do it again later. Kilo Sierra 4, Papa Charlie. 73, sir. Thank you, Daryl. We'll talk to you soon. 73. Daryl, you copy Conrad, KC0 FCL stroke portable. Uh, portable, go ahead. Yeah, Daryl, uh, this is Conrad. Conrad in Kansas, Kilo Sierra. And I did hear everything that uh, the state, uh, Canada station uh, had to offer, even down to uh, uh, half a watt. Anyway, uh, the call sign here is Kilowatt Charlie Zero, Foxtrot Charlie Lima, KC Zero FCL, and we are uh, stroke portable, uh, running a ground-mounted antenna, uh, which is uh, 21 feet tall with no ground radio, no ground radio, uh, running the IC718 100 watts uh, with a stock microphone, and uh, powering the, uh, the radio is the uh, uh, marine battery, over.